بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الخلق سيدنا محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين أعزائي طلبة المرحلة الثالثة في كلية الطب جامعة ميسان أهلا وسهلا بكم في سلسلة الدروس التعليمية في مادة الجنرال باثولوجي والتي يلقيها عليكم هذا أنا الدكتور مخلد عبد الكريم نكمل ما ابتدأنا به سابقا قبل قرار خلية الأزمة القاضي بإيقاف الدوام في الجامعات والمدارس منعا لتفشي وباء كورونا أعاذنا الله وإياكم وحمى العراق والعراقيين من هذا البلاء ونسأله تعالى أن يقضى على هذا الوباء في أقرب وقت ممكن حقيقة وددت الإشارة إلى ملاحظتين مهمتين قبل البدء في تسجيل سلسلة المحاضرات أولا الملاحظة الأولى أن هذه المحاضرات هي موجودة على موقع المودل أو عفوا على نظام المودل في موقع جامعة ميسان فأنتم المفروض متهيئين ومنزلينهم المحاضرات ومسوينهم داونلود وتكون عندكم حتى تتابعون وياي بالفيديوهات المساعدة واثنين <تصفيق> نظرا لضعف الانترنت بالعراق يعني المحاضره الوحده لا يمكن تسجيلها بشكل كامل لانه يعني راح تكون مدتها ساعه تقريبا او هيك فراح تصير عندنا صعوبه بالابلودينج وانتم عندكم بالداونلودينج مالت الفيديو فراح يعني تسجل على شكل مقطعين او ثلاثه كل واحد ما يتجاوز العشر دقائق تبعا للتوبكس اللي موجوده بالمحاضره كل توبك راح يسجل لوحده ونعطي رقم مثلا مثلا الان هذه المحاضره ناخذ من عندها سكشن 1 اللي هو توبك 1 نشرحه بس هو وبعدين ننهي التسجيل وناخذ توبك ثاني وهكذا الى ان الى ان تنتهي المحاضره سو تو ستارت اجين وذ هيموداينامك ديسوردر ليكتشر 3 سكشن 1 ويتش از انتايتلد امبوليزم اند اتس كونسيكونس انفاركشن Embolism. Uh, an embolus is an intravascular solid, liquid, or gaseous mass that is carried by the blood to a site distant from its point of origin. Okay. An embolus is an intravascular solid. Awalan, uh, this means that the embolus could be solid, of solid component, or could be of liquid component, or could be of gaseous component. So, in the previous lecture, we know uh, what is the pathologic thrombosis and we know how does the thrombus form inside the intact vasculature and uh, the causes of its formation and the fates of a thrombus after uh, its formation. One of the fates is the embolization, means the thrombus after its origination in one side can dislodge from its site of origin and goes inside the circulation, inside the vasculature and impact in an area elsewhere to form what we call the thromboembolism. Means thromboembolism means this is an embolus of a thrombus component. But this is not only the component of solid emboli, but there is another component like the bacterial colonies. Fragments could be of tumor cells can also embolize uh, bits of bone marrow or atherosclerotic debris. The liquid components of embolism uh, could be a amniotic fluid, one of the obstetric crises, and could be gaseous uh, masses, which is an air bubbles that find its way inside the circulation also can impact uh, the vasculature. <coughs> Uh, and causes the privation of a blood supply to an area. So, uh, after its, uh, means the, uh, the component of the emboli, after its uh, surround uh, or, or uh, movement inside the entire vasculature, uh, it sometimes encounter a blood vessel of a small caliber, or its caliber is narrower than the size of embolus. So it will get impaction uh, and the clinical manifestations or the consequence of the embolism depends on the size of emboli. So it either causes a partial or complete vascular uh, occlusion, either causing partial or complete vascular occlusion. Okay? In case of complete vascular occlusion, 
uh, means if there is a complete vascular occlusion, the infarction can occur. Well, infarction, it will come in the, uh, later in this lecture, means area of ischemic necrosis after complete deprivation of a blood supply from an area of uh, the organ. Okay? Pulmonary, thrombo uh, pulmonary, th pulmonary thromboembolism. In a greater than 95% of cases, venous emboli originate from the thrombi within the deep leg veins deep leg veins okay mostly proximal to uh, uh, the popliteal vein it means a thrombi that form in the popliteal veins okay and uh, the thrombi that form in the lower extremities is less implicated in the pulmonary thromboemboli fragmented thrombi from the deep venous thrombosis are carried through uh, carried through progressively larger channels reaching to the right side of the heart before it resting in the pulmonary vasculature okay fragmented thrombi here i want to <coughs> give a notes about th a fragmented thrombi because a fragmented thrombi of dvt either uh, send one thrombus or one embolus to the pulmonary circulation or sometimes no it sends a uh, multiple thrombi but one by one one by one okay means single thrombi or, or multiple uh, thrombi send from the dvts to the pulmonary vasculature but occur uh, sequentially and sometimes no it showers showers the pulmonary vasculature by a multiple small thrombi each of them have its clinical consequences yes <coughs> depending on the size of the pulmonary embolism as, uh, of the pulmonary embolus pulmonary embolism can occlude or pulmonary embolus can occlude first the main pulmonary artery and this associate with uh, sudden death because it will uh, cause increases in the uh, uh, pressure of the pulmonary artery and then uh, causing uh, right side heart failure and then sudden death okay or lodge at the bifurcation of the right and left pulmonary arteries to form a saddle thrombus or a three pass into smaller branching arteriole smaller branching arteriole mostly the smaller branching arteriole is either medium size okay medium sized or could be uh, 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 the end arteries of the pulmonary branch so the major clinical and pathologic features of pulmonary embolism are first most pulmonary emboli forming 60 to 80 percent are small and clinically silent why it is clinically silent because these small emboli either incorporated in the wall of the vasculature okay or sometimes uh, uh, it undergoes organization uh, leaving a bridge of fibrous webbing inside the blood vessel with no impairment of a blood uh, uh, no impairment of a blood flow a larger embolus second a larger embolus that blocks a major pulmonary artery can cause sudden death of course discussed previously three embolic obstruction of the medium-sized arteries and subsequent rupture of the capillaries can cause pulmonary hemorrhage okay here medium-sized arteries in this uh, embolic form uh, it is hard to form uh, or uh, result in, uh, in uh, what we call it infarction uh, because uh, the lung is area of dual circulation of dual circulation means it receives oxygen from both pulmonary arteries as well from the uh, alveoli directly as well from the bronchial circulation from the bronchial arteries so the infarction in this organ is so difficult okay but rupture of the capillaries this is <coughs> occur from the uh, uh, injury or injury to the endothelial cells of the capillaries with uh, which is followed by the pulmonary hemorrhage yes for embolism to the small and arteriolar pulmonary branches 
and arterial pulmonary branch and arterial arterial pulmonary branch means this is a branch of pulmonary artery uh, occur in the uh, terminal site in a terminal site of vasculature this associate with pulmonary infarction this associate with pulmonary infarction yes here is a saddle thrombus that occlude the left and right uh, uh, pulmonary artery uh, because it located in the bifurcation so this is known as saddle thrombus يعني بالضبط مثل ما شخص قاعد على سرج مال فرس so it is known as saddle saddle يعني سرج okay اذا اذا الان ال ال البولموناري ثرومبو امبوليزم قلنا منين يجي يجينا من الديب ليج فينز يعني موست اوف ذا pulmonary thromboemboli originate from the venous site now in systemic thromboembolism 80% of systemic emboli arise from the intracardiac mural thrombi intracardiac mural thrombi okay two thirds are associated with left ventricular infarcts left ventricular infarcts two thirds of them originate from the left ventricular infarct because the uh, ventricular infarction is area of dead myocardial muscle cells and in the ventricular uh, in the ventricular infarction there is a, a injured endothelial cells and <clears throat> in the injured endothelial cells uh, as we said in the previous lecture uh, during uh, uh, when we discussed the uh, uh, thrombus formation we said that one of the most important causes for uh, formation of the anti-mortem thrombus is the endothelial cell injury because it results in denudation of this dead endothelial cells and then exposure of the highly thrombogenic endothelial uh, subendothelial extracellular matrix and this what occur exactly in the left ventricular infarct and another 25 percent uh, associate with dilated left atria dilated left atria which is occur secondary to the mitral valve disease. The, my, uh, the reminder of systemic thrombone originate either from aortic aneurysm, aortic aneurysm, to the chrome, the muhadara thaniya, ginna, ahnal causes of a thrombus is either denudation or a sloughing in the endothelial cells with exposure of highly thrombogenic subendothelial extracellular matrix which result in aggregation of platelets or sometimes elastasis elastasis of blood uh, as what occur in the varicose vein and in the aneurysmal dilation of the arteries stasis impair the washout of the activated coagulation factors that uh, occur in the blood by flushing movement of uh, the blood because of stasis or thrombi overlying the ulcerated atherosclerotic plug overlying the ulcerated atherosclerotic plug ليش بالالسريتد اثيروسكلروت لانه اساسا قلنا الاثيروسكلروتيك بلاك causing narrowing in the vascular caliber and this will occur as a trap like during movement of blood it will disturb cause a turbulence blood flow and disturb the laminar movement of uh, the component of a blood okay making the cells of a blood closely uh, closely near the endothelial cells closely near the endothelial cells uh, and encourage the thrombus formation okay sometimes ulcerated atherosclerotic uh, plug containing sloughed endothelial cells with exposure of subendothelial extracellular matrix and hence it will encourage the thrombus formation encourage the thrombus formation or venous system or from venous system okay means systemic thromboembolism could be a result from venous system as we said <coughs> previously venous system is implicated in the pulmonary thromboembolism so how can it implicate it now in the systemic thromboembolism uh, because يعني, من المفروض أنه الفينس ثرومبس الآن تروح للرايت سايد of the heart وبعدين يصير لها pumping into the pulmonary circulation and then it trapped and it trapped in the pulmonary circulation إذا شي جيبها للسيستمك circulation sometimes or this occur uh, in the uh, patients with 
a cardiac septal defect. Patent foramina ovale, okay, presence of patent foramina ovale, اللي هي الفتحة اللي موجودة بال بال septa of the heart, enable the thrombus to pass from the right side of the heart to the left side of the heart, and then pumped into the systemic circulation. This is what we call it the paradoxical thrombus. Okay, uh, sorry, paradoxical embola, because it originates from the venous system and in a trapped in the systemic circulation. By contrast with venous emboli, <coughs> which lodge primarily in the lung, common arteriolar embolization or a systemic thromboembolism mostly occur in the lower extremities most majority of, the, of them, about 75%, and in the central nervous system. The consequences of embolization depends on the caliber of the occluded vessel. Okay? How the, the consequence of the emboli depends on several factors. One of them is, uh, is the caliber of the occluded vessel. كل ما يكون صغير, كل ما it will cause uh, entrapment of the smallest size uh, thrombi or uh, presence or absence of collateral circulation presence or absence of collateral circulation because the collateral circulation can minimize the site of uh, uh, or of infarction which result from the arterial obstruction why because it will enable the uh, more nourishing and oxygen delivery to uh, large size of uh, of the infarct area or of the ischemic area and the vulnerability of the affected tissue to anoxia vulnerability of the affected tissues to anoxia طبعا احنا اخذنا سابقا بالتشو نيكروسيز يعني شرح لكم اياها دكتور عباس انه مو كل التشوز have the same vulnerability for anoxia اكو بيها susceptible واكو بيها resistant واخذنا examples مثلا skeletal muscles can withstand in hypoxia for about two hours while the cardi myocardial muscle, يعني myocardial cells uh, can't withstand this uh, duration of time uh, regarding to anoxia, but uh, it can withstand or under, uh, uh, withstand the anoxic uh, states uh, only for about 30 minutes. While the neurons, particularly in the central nervous system, can't tolerate the anoxic status for uh, about two uh, only two to three minutes okay so not only uh, not all tissues have the same vulnerability to uh, withstand the anoxia okay to this limit we will stop the recording of the lecture <coughs> and continue in another video thank you very much